Hey, hey, welcome to another vlog on this uh, Wednesday morning, heading into the afternoon, uh, 9th of January 2013. So I'm outside and I thought on this vlog, um, being the fact that my family has not seen this place, our new place, I would give a, a quick little a tour of our, of our new spot. So let me go ahead and uh, show you around. This is the front yard area. This is our door. Right over here, and let's uh, let's go ahead and, and walk in and show you the place. Um, so we where we were before we lived about a block and a half from the beach, and here this is uh, about four miles away inland. But as you can see, this is our living room area. There's Bear chilling out. Um, so, yeah, we're about four miles inland. Um, last place we had, had hardwood floors. Now we have carpeting, uh, which actually, hardwood floors are a bitch to keep upkeep um, and keep the upkeep on it. So, but, uh, so we're kind of glad to have carpeting. It kind of makes, I mean, if this place had hardwood floors, uh, we'd be freezing. This place is not insulated. It was built uh, probably during World War II. Um, to house, uh, you know, naval officers from the port of Long Beach. It's in, uh, you know, a part of town which, uh, you know, they they housed uh, housed naval officers and people in the military, and navy. Um, so all these windows right here are single pane, uh, so it, there's like no insulation in this place. Um, we do have some heaters. We 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 do have a floor heater, which I'll show you in a minute, but. Uh, due to it be kind of, it's really dirty. It actually, the the last person tenant really didn't keep an up good upkeep on the uh, the floor heater. Plus, carbon monoxide, especially floor heaters, not necessarily the uh, the safest. So we're do we're dealing with uh, with some heaters. We got a couple of heaters. We got this one heater from Lowe's, a uh, nice ceramic heater for like uh, sixty bucks. Um, so here's the living room, the couch area, which looks onto our TV and entertainment kind of center. I uh, got all my books, my vinyl, CDs all set up. Our painting from Zara, our, old, our friend Zara from Viento back in the day is up right there. Got all of our DVDs. And then there's kind of a little, little break off from the living room into this kind of, this could be a dining room, but we turned it into, could be used as a dining room, but it uh, we used it as a computer space just because our corner desk fits so perfectly there so I've got uh, it all set up got some stuff hanging up hey dad check it out there's your vinyl painting of uh, Mender or uh, Point Arena and the uh, Point Arena lighthouse so the the living room basically is this we've got some nice light you know some nice uh, nice um, windows and whatnot and there's a built-in bookshelf, which Natalie will probably use for her uh, for her books, since a lot of my books are over here in this uh, bookshelf. So, and that hallway lead uh, that doorway leads into a hall, but we'll go through and show you the kitchen real quick. So, this is our kitchen. Um, a little breakfast nook area right here, which um, our table barely fits. We had a table that was given to us. It was actually, I believe, it will. I believe it was Nat's grandmother's, um, and it was he and Bill had it at his house, um, and we got that back when we moved on to Second Street. But it fits here. Um, someone can see here, but we you, you couldn't have one person there and one person here because it just would not not fit. So here's the kitchen area. We got our Dia, Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead artwork. Uh, out here once again some built-ins which is real a really nice nice um, window that looks onto the next door property um, so you have this uh, counter space and the in this kitchen is a little more limited than our last place um, we've got to get some some curtains in or a curtain uh, to uh, just a simple little curtain rod and curtain thing for our, for over our uh, our kitchen window sink area Got a coffee maker, found it in our move. 
Um, and oh, by the way, these cups, they're actual plastic cups made to look like red cup, red party cups. I love it. Um, so cabinets and whatnot. Um, there's Bear's food. Uh, you know, standard uh, stove and oven and refrigerator. And if the refrigerator starts making a noise during this, it's because we believe the fan is malfunctioning on it and uh, the compressor goes into overdrive and it, it becomes quite no noisy. So if you hear that in the background of this video, that's what it is. We're gonna get it fixed hopefully in the next couple weeks. Um, here's where the floor heater is, uh, the vent at least for it, but we're covering it up to keep some of the, until we get a grate to cover it or a floor heater grate to cover this, we're gonna use this cardboard box from our move. Mind you, we've only been here um, a little less than a month, so here's the bathroom. Really simple, cool cow uh, shower curtain we found at Target. Um, and then there's the bathroom, the sink right here, and the mirror. Hello, everybody. And uh, I've got some already put up some artwork or Marilyn picture and our John Lennon picture. Um, so here's the hallway. Um, relatively small, but kind of adds a little bit more space between the, the rooms. Um, here's the spare bedroom, which is now being used as kind of a storage area, or staging area for our, uh, for unpacking. I've got a lot of Nat's books over there she needs to go through. Um, clothing that she needs to go through and we need to store away. Um, so this room, anybody who comes and visit us, eventually we will have it cleaned out and it will be used uh, basically as a guest room. So we'll have like an arrow bed set up in here. We'll hopefully have a TV set up in here. Um, maybe uh, maybe if we get a PlayStation 3 or we hook up the old PlayStation 2, it'll probably be stored in here. Um, there's a closet in here, which um, is actually my closet. Because the closets are so small, much smaller than our original, our last place we, we lived, um, here is the closet um, with all of my t-shirts, clothing, um, underwear and socks and all that and pants all go down there. There's additional ca uh, cabinet space up there for various things. So we we both get our own closets. I took the spare room closet just because I figured she'd want her clothes in the bedroom. Um, and at the time I didn't have a job, so... <laughs> I figured go ahead, you know, take the bedroom, it's where, you know, it's where you'll get ready. Some more cabinet space here um, in the hallway for linens and bathroom stuff. Here's the master bedroom. Uh, some, uh, some windows overlooking our driveway, which we do have a driveway. Threw up these two wall sconces that we, uh, candle wall sconces that we've had for the longest time and thought that, that would be the perfect spot for them. There's the uh, there's the closet, Nat's closet. There's a mirror. There's the 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 uh, the TV and and box of uh, for cable and all that. So um, still gonna eventually get some some artwork up here, but that's all in due time. So with that being said, let's uh, let's venture out into the backyard. Yes, we do have a backyard here. Um, backyard back door um, that gets actually more used than the front door that's because the uh, the driveway leads right up to here but um, here's our backyard there's the Nova um, so backyard um, a slab a concrete slab that eventually should hopefully get uh, get uh, busted up eventually hopefully um, so we'd like to have kind of a, a nice even backyard, but you know, a nice space. You know, we'll we'll do some uh, barbecuing. We'll get some lights back here. We'll get some you know some outdoor patio furniture, and have friends over during the summer for barbecuing. Like to get a disc golf basket, which probably will happen in the next couple months um, back here. And then we have a dog that likes to growl. That he, that's still getting used to me. Um, but still wants to bark at me and <laughs> yeah the day we moved in it was not fun there's a storage shed right here 
which uh, leads into our garage, which is this one garage right here. It's where we're storing most of our stuff. Um, the storage shed is not being used right now, but it is where we will use and put our, um, see it's already set up for a uh, stackable washer and dryer. Um, we just gotta sweep it out in here. Um, we bug bombed the hell out of this place. So there should not be any you know, black widows or anything, but just another spot for us to, uh, to, um, to store our stuff which was our, our main issue in the last place we had. We did have a storage room, but just was not enough space. This with the extra bedroom will give us enough space. So that's about it um, for this uh, little introduction to our, to our new, new spot. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll be talking to you guys later. Bye.